Hi, I'm Jake. I'm one of Forest co-founders and our head of product and technology. I'm here to talk about all the things we've released for our advisors in the Fora Advisor portal over the last two months. The first thing we're going to talk about today is our new integration with Expedia. Expedia is a consumer booking platform, but it's also one of the largest providers of B2B rates in the industry. Fora advisors already have access to Expedia's travel agent platform called Expedia Tap, which they can use to make bookings at hundreds of thousands of hotels around the world, including booking VRBO properties and special packages. To make the experience easier for advisors to see those Expedia rates directly inside of the Fora booking platform, we've integrated with Expedia. And so now this gives advisors access to these Expedia rates while they're searching for hotels for their clients in Portal. Let's take a look at how this works. With our Expedia integration, we're able to see a number of different kinds of rates, including package rates, rates that include different promotional items like breakfast, or rates that could be even cheaper than what's available to consumers through regular channels because of special promotions that are available only through the Travel Advisor channel. Having these rates in Portal enables advisors to ensure that they're able to see all of the things that their client might encounter when they go search for properties. So here I'm in the Afora Advisor portal and I've done a search for Merida, which is a city in Yucatan in Mexico. My aunt and uncle happen to live here, so I know this city. It's a fantastic place to visit and a new trending destination. So let's say I want to book this hotel, which has actually one Michelin key, the Deku downtown, and I click into it in the portal. And I see that for the dates that I want to go, actually the only rates that I have are available through Expedia. So without this integration, I would have actually not seen any rates here for these dates. And I would have had to separately go check the Expedia tap portal to see if it happened to have rates. But here I can see these rates and I can book them with just a few clicks. So just like with any of the other rates in portal, I can click, scroll down, select my client and their credit card and make a booking. With this integration, we now have over 160,000 hotels that advisors can search, browse, and book in just a matter of minutes. The next thing I'm really excited to show you are the new features that we've made to searching and browsing hotels in the booking platform in Portal. Anyone who's seen one of my demos before knows that I always like to go to Paris and use that often as my demo example. So let's say sometime in March, I'm going to go to Paris. So I do this search and I see that we have 1,500 hotels in our results in Paris. That's a lot of hotels probably too many for me to even consider for my client. If I go to a map and I look at it here, there are a lot of hotels that I can pick from. That's fantastic from a choice selection and an availability selection, but I need something that I can use to narrow this down. So we have recently improved our filters in a couple of key ways. The first one is our ability to filter out preferred partners and for or reserve partners. So by selecting those two options, I've narrowed the results down to 140 hotels where we have perks available for our clients and direct relationships. Now when I look at the pricing, the other thing I want to take into account is that my clients may or may not go on this trip. So I definitely don't want to include any non-refundable rates in these price summaries. So I can go here and click exclude non-refundable rates. So this ensures that the prices shown here are going to be the cheapest refundable rates, which allows me to save time so that I might click into a hotel that fits within my price range with refundable rates. The other thing that I can do is select only hotels that have property reports. What are property reports, you might ask? Well, all of our advisors spend a significant amount of time visiting the hotels that we send our clients to. And so we built a place in Portal for advisors to leave proprietary feedback for other advisors about their either site visit to the hotel or stay at the hotel. So now that I'm sure I want to book La Fantasy, which is a fantastic hotel in Paris, I can go through the process of picking a rate and making a booking directly in Portal. These search features that I outlined help us narrow down the results that we have so as we continue to grow the number of bookable hotels in Portal, we're able to have more fine-grained control over what we, what we select and show for our clients. The other thing that we've recently done in Portal is separate out our various tours and activity providers into new categories so it's easier to see all of the people that offer day tours and activities that can happen in a day from all of the providers that we have which offer multi-day tours. The next thing I'm excited to share with you is a really special development that we've been waiting for for a long time in our portal, which is the ability to group bookings into trips. The way most people think about their travel is not a group of individual bookings, but actually a trip. 
So previously, we just had this tab where you're able to see all of the bookings that you've made individually. But what if someone is going on a trip with multiple bookings together? So we now have this great new view where an advisor can group multiple bookings together into a combined trip. The final feature I'm here to talk about today is our advisor branding feature. While many of our four advisors just use their own name, like for me, it would be Jake Peters, some of our advisors have their own brands like Travels with Jake or something else that's probably more creative than that to house their travel business. There are a number of different things that we've built in Portal, such as the For a Vault, the reviews functionality, sending clients booking confirmations that feature the Fora logo at the top of those pages or confirmations. If a Fora advisor has their own brand, we now allow them to upload the brand and that logo will be shown at the top of those pages or confirmation documents. This is really exciting for people who want to promote their business more instead of the Fora Travel brand. So here I am in our Carmen San Diego Fora Travel advisor account. Turns out that Carmen San Diego actually sells travel under a travel brand. After a quick review, Carmen's new travel brand will be available for use. Here's an example of what this would look like on our Vault credit card collection form that I would send to a client where the client is now able to see Carmen's travel brand up at the top and then it's powered by Fora down here at the bottom. Thanks for watching. This is the first product release video of 2025. It's a really exciting year that we have in store and we'll be back soon as a part of our regular series of updates with all the exciting things we're building to enable our advisors to do their jobs better than ever before.